Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Delta 6. On this video, guys, it's going to be about the um, beginning of the shift on Christmas Eve, uh, what I ran into. So, during patrol, I came in at 0700, and within, I would say, about 30 minutes, I noticed there were some broken windows on one of the apartments. And I went ahead and proceeded to get out of the vehicle and touch base with the resident to find out what was going on, if they were okay. Um, you know, just to do a wellness check, rather. Um, at that time, you know, she came out, she just woke up with the baby for me knocking at the door. And she wasn't cooperating, you know, she, she pretty much told me that you know, her baby's father came to pick up the kids for Christmas or something. And I guess, you know, she told him that she's going to fix her hair real quick and then she'll be right out. And a few moments later, you know, he's busting in the windows in the front of the apartment. And I asked her, you know, well, was there any other context? Was there an argument? Was there anything else going on? She's like, no, I don't have any clue why he did what he did. Just, you know, that's the exact thing that happened last night. So I said, okay, well, can I get his name? She's like, no, I don't want to get him in trouble. And I was like, well, you know what? Um, I need to fill out a report. So what I'll do is I'll come back in about an hour and touch base with you and, you know, if you give me his name and information and things like that, I won't call SPD or nothing of that nature. I'll just make a report on my end so we know who's at fault and what happened um, so that we can keep an eye out while we're here on the property so we know who we're talking to and who we're going to be looking for. You know, God forbid he does come back and he does more damage. Um, and she's like, all right, that's fine. So you'll be back in an hour. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Um, she went ahead got inside you know I was going towards my truck and then I noticed there was a couple residents that came down from a, a apartment nearby um, who was you know obviously a witness to what happened this morning before we got on property and uh, they, they said you know he he's a black guy drives a two-door Acura it's like a silver gray and it has no tag on it and so forth so I said, okay, well, I appreciate the information. Have a good Christmas and, you know, have a good day. And I proceeded on with my patrols, came back an hour later. And I'll roll in the clips here in a moment. And, you know, I was heading to go knock at the door and it just clicked in my head. Wait a minute. I just literally passed by that vehicle. So I'll go ahead and roll in those clips, guys. And then once we're done with that clip, I'll talk with you guys about, um, why I chose to do what I did and you know I guess some lessons behind it rather um just more safety issues um and not escalating things but we'll go ahead and get in that video right now guys Hey brother, how you doing? What up? Hey, you looking for someone? You looking for somebody? No, I'm just curious who you're here to see. Oh, well, what's up? I was just wondering. Oh. Alright. Uh, you don't, you don't need to leave, man. I'm just curious. Oh, Are you, no. you visiting? Yeah. Uh, what apartment are you visiting? Dropping off tours, Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, you live here? Well, what's up? I've just seen your car, man. I'm just curious. I haven't seen you before. You don't see the car finish, man. I always park right there. In the park, little handicap right here. Okay. What's your name? Well, what's up? Well, if I'm not mistaken, you're the guy that lives here at 329? Mm -hmm. You live at 329? What happened? All those broken windows, I'm just curious. Yeah, somebody broke the windows. She made a report. She did? Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't you last night then? No. Okay. <laughs> so you waiting for her to come out? 
So, um, you said you're just dropping off Christmas? Yeah. Hey, bud. Hey. Uh, hey, could you just step out real quick so we can talk with the resident there? Grab your gun. You, grab your gun? you ran up your window and put it, put it in reverse, brother. I'm finna pull off. Yeah, but you didn't tell me nothing. I'm finna pull off. All I know is that you could have just ran me over. All right, I ain't finna pull off. I'm finna pull off, so step back, please. Thank you. All right, well, what's your name? Uh, Michael Williams. Michael Williams? Yeah. All right, brother. You know who I am? Well, yeah, now I do. Google me. Okay, I'll Google you. And uh, make sure you get a tag on your vehicle, yeah? I got a tag. Oh, you do? I'm a, I'm a dealer. Oh, okay. Well, you got to put your dealer tag. Yeah, brother, well, just say, man, you put it in reverse and roll up that window. I couldn't see in there. That's good. Glad you are. All right, guys, so as you can tell in that clip, um, I didn't actually upload it off my body cam. I just video recorded it because I don't have my laptop with me today. But um, as you can tell, in that incident, you know, where you approach any vehicle, guys, no matter what it is if there's somebody in there you guys always got to be careful be safe um long story short on what happened with the guy i called spd out to make a case report um in regards to the bust of windows and what you guys seen in the video on this clip and ultimately they they couldn't do anything because he was allowed to be there he was visiting he was picking up his daughter and in their eyes they said that he basically busted out his own windows and either the apartment's going to pay for it or he's going to pay for it um he's not a resident on the lease i explained that to him and still there was nothing they could do um truth be told guys they do i believe 10 hour shifts here and i think it was towards the end of their shift um i heard them talking about foxtrot on the radio which is um what i believe to be mid shift that is supposed to be taken primary on that case. And ultimately, um, they were busy. So they were just trying to wrap it up. And I think that's what happened. Not too sure on that. <clears throat> but, you know, it is what it is, guys. You know, they wanted to get home. It's Christmas Eve. I get it. But at the same time, you got to try to do something a little bit more. Um, but when they came out, the resident wanted to answer. So I get it, you know what I mean? If the resident's not answering, not communicating uh, with law enforcement, and the guy already took off, as you can tell in that video, um, you know, I get that there's nothing they can do. So I just got it for the report, um, for our reports rather, the call and the case that, you know, this is the guy that did it. So we have it for future reference if he does come back and cause more issues. But, as I was stating, guys, whenever you approach vehicles and there's somebody in it, you got tenant windows, you don't know what they have in there. Um, you know, as you can tell in the video, I was talking to the guy, you know, I was still talking with him. Yeah, I, I stepped back to look at his tag to see if it was there or missing um, to verify that it was him and it fits the description I got from the re other residents in the area. And... You know, I'm still talking with him, and he goes and rolls up the window, and he pits it in reverse. And I can hear the transmission and, and the shifter going reverse. At that point, guys, that's one of those key things that you're looking for on someone who obviously is guilty to breaking those windows. Secondly, he feels like he's trapped or cornered, and he's just wanting to get away. So you got that flight or, or fight, you know, situation going on. Um, he chose, you know, obviously the flight version of it, um, but that can change very quickly. Um, as you heard in, towards the ending that, you know, he was like, well, you know, why do you have your hand on your gun? And I explained to him, you know, you roll up your window. I can't see in there. You pit your car in reverse. I don't know if you're trying to hit me with that car, right? Um, there's been a lot of instances, especially in Pinellas County, where law enforcement has been ran over multiple times and killed you know a buddy of mine i used to work glass with his father died in tarpon springs from that 
um, guy literally ran him, ran over his father, who's uh, who was a police officer at the time. Reverse ran him over again, and then forward ran him over again and killed him. Um, you know that's not one way I'm trying to go, or any way rather on the job I'm trying to go go out like that. Um, so you want to you know use your discretion. If it was police, they would have drawn their firearms, right? Because now that vehicle is turned into a weapon. For us in security, we want to be a little bit more diligent and protect ourselves legally a little bit more, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't want, at least on my end of things, you know, I could tell that the guy was nervous. He didn't want to answer questions. I knew he was guilty. I, you know, the president said so that he's the one that did it um and you know that fight factor wasn't there it was just the flight factor um towards the end he let his pride get in the way and that's when he wanted to say well you know i have a license to carry two you know you got your hand on your gun blah 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 in other words making a threat that you know next time i put my hand on my gun around him he's gonna pull his firearm out well you know, law enforcement can do nothing about that verbal threat as well. But nonetheless, um, I let him go because I don't want to escalate a situation over some broken windows um, to the point where he does use that vehicle against me at that point. Or if he did have a firearm like he stated, you know, that he does. I didn't want to corner him even more to use that because then I would be looking for it, right? Um, so play it smart guys be safe um, you know going home is the most important thing out there um, you know if he's not actively beating raping or killing somebody you know if it's something like that just you know do what you can get as much info as you can um, and be safe you know don't escalate a situation more always try to de-escalate if you can um, in those situations because, like I said, you know, it could have went wrong in 500 different ways you can probably come up with. So when he said he wants to leave, you know what? That's where I was getting to anyway. Might as well let him go. I don't want you guys to let your pride get in the way um, on the job because it can get you in trouble. So, you know, at the moment he said, well, I got a gun too. You got your hand on your gun, blah, 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 whatever. I could have took my pride and said, you know what? get you know draw my weapon get out of the vehicle put it in park get out of the vehicle at that point i would have escalated right because of pride because i would have felt in some way that he threatened or disrespect me and i gotta show who's boss right no you don't want to do that guys if he doesn't have a firearm pointing at you don't draw your firearm and don't escalate just say yeah that's good for you man have a good day um, that's going to keep you out of legal trouble. It's going to keep you out of civil lawsuit issues. And it's going to keep you safe. Um, you know, yeah, I have a firearm, but he has a fast car. And it could take me down pretty quick. Um, so pick your battles. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I just wanted to make this video. Give some pointers on, you know, how I handled it. Why I handled it the way I did. And see how you guys would have handled it. Would you have done the same thing? Would you have escalated it more? Not in a, a negative way, but would you have tried to open the door or get him out? Um, you know, how have you guys handled that if you've been through it? You know, how did it turn out for you guys? You know, we're always interested in, in hearing your guys' stories um, that are viewers. So let me know what you guys think down below. Other than that, guys, thank you once again for joining us. Hit that subscribe button. Be safe. God bless. And have a good Christmas.